Hello and welcome, I am Bebel Joe and this is Grimgrad. Grimgrad is a, well, city builder survival game with a couple twists, and this is what the store page says. Try to survive the hardships of the Middle Ages and not anger the gods. A story campaign about Slavic deities and, and, uh, and survival mode. Lay roads, organize the mining and production of resources and follow the needs of villagers. So you have resources, you have villagers, you have gods, you have problems, you have random events. It's pretty cute and actually looks pretty nice. And it's a it's a medieval style city builder, which, hey, let's go try it out. New game. You can either go story mode. This is really just a tutorial or survival. There are no other settings that you have to worry about. And here we are, we have Simargl, and he's telling us something. He talks you through the whole tutorial if you want to, but we're not going to do that today. This is your map. The map has everything that you should worry about. For example, display of threats, deposits, and desirabilities. Water. This one's important. Don't build on water because there are certain things that can only be built on water. Should make sense. Contamination, disease, and fire threat we don't have yet because we don't have any houses. Fertility? That's important. This is where you want to grow your crops and such. Stone? That's important. This is where you want to get your stone from. Uh, iron? Same thing. And then desirability and efficiency. Well, we're, we're not there yet. We're not quite ready. Build a Kutor is our overall quest and getting a population of 80. It's not that simple. So I'm hoping that we're going to get through that today and I can tell you how the first hour of gameplay is for this game. First, we're going to start. Leader tent, that's what we want. Somewhere in here feels fine. I don't want to be too far away from too many things because we want fish from here, but we want trees from here or here. Um, I guess I could, you can see this, this greenery. We, we, we do want to use a lot of that. How about I put my starting settlement somewhere here, then I get my road. I do love that this game actually supports um, keyboard shortcuts because not every game does that nowadays for some reason I don't know why uh, and there we go I'm gonna put something here and a little bit of space there so I don't forget later on and then it's time to get the first villagers place our settlement I want one there 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 and obviously here sure yeah why not and that's our start and where do these villagers come from? They come from the woods because that's apparently how this works if I if unpause the game Let's see, there they are, they're walking all the way in. And they're gonna settle in our settlement, which is wonderful, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And now we have to figure out what all we need. The game makes it very easy. You have all of these buildings. Yep, there's quite a bunch of them, but there are some subcategories if you wanna play with them, or you can just build them as they show up here. First thing I want is a well. A well needs water, it's very important. So we can place it here, over here. I would like to have most of my um, houses actually on that side, so I'm actually going to place my well all the way over here. Yep, that looks good. Put another piece of road there so that's connected. And then this person, as you can see right now, we have these little water shortage icon icons. And this person, woman carrying water, is delivering things. Fatigue will set in, and once fatigue sets in, she will no longer do anything. Also, the NPCs in this game are stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. They will walk all the paths. They don't have any smart pathfinding. Oh, come on. Just told you not to go there. <laughs> um, let's remove that one and see if she can figure it out. Can you figure it out? You're stuck. Go, come back. There you go. They will walk anywhere. And you, it's your job to make sure that they don't do anything stupid. There are things later on that will help you um, make citizens or people not go to silly places. But um, actually, later on, I say they weren't available in the tutorials, but they should be available now. They're called the Drashunik Outpost. I'm saying that completely wrong, probably, but I'm trying. I'm trying here, okay? Uh, you can effectively just plop it down like so. And then there's a little outpost and a guy in front of it. And you can say, who can pass here? And we don't want anyone to pass there. So that's fine. Cost three, three logs, so we're not going to build that many of them right now. But we're, we're going to get there. But whenever this lady with the water walks by a house that has a water shortage, they get water. Beautiful. Makes sense. Perfect. Great. Let's keep building things. The next thing we need is a cesspit, because if things get dirty, um, well, you have to make sure that they don't mess up your whole town. So to do that, I'm thinking probably this. 
it is not connected to the road as of right now now it's connected and then there's the same similar person coming out here and they're collecting you know what and that's great and that's that's the thing we need then we need a barber a barber is a hairdresser but also a bathhouse attendant and a surgeon protects uh, protects people from disease very very important there's a surgeon, we have someone working there. I'm honestly not sure if there's a person coming out of this or not, or if that's just, oh, yep, there's a barber. There's a barber lady. And they just all kind of walk around. I think it's an interesting thing to throw in here. It's just new, new. And yes, if you put this one on the wrong side of somewhere, then nobody can get by them and you have to figure it out from there. But, oh well, that's just the thing we're gonna worry about when we get there. First, let's make some food. Food like a fisher hut, and the fisher fishermen can just do whatever they need to do there. That's excellent. And should we, as someone, I don't know that there's an animation out here yet, or ever will be. It would be nice if the boat would do something, but you can expect that eventually a person actually starts walking here. There's a production. One fish. There's one fish coming home. Cool. Limping home, I should say. But where's he bringing stuff? He's bringing stuff currently to the leader tent. It's the only place where that goes. So you are the walk, 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 and then you have to go back. As you can see, pathfinding is a big thing in this game, and you should worry about it at least a little bit, um, because eventually it will be very, very important. Next thing I want is this lumber, lumber hat, lum lumber thing, and I think I want to place it just up here. It should be fine. Give me two huts because we will need a lot of lumber. And here's a problem. Once the first lumber, there's a person, there's a person, haha. <laughs> Once the first lumber gets felt, someone is going to carry it all the way back to your leader's hut. And that's not cool because that means it will take forever to get that lumber collected. Not cool, but luckily, but luckily there's this little invention called a storehouse. If we use a storehouse, and we'll speed this up a little bit, then then we can effectively shorten the path that it takes to um, allow the connection here. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to plop it on this side, hoping that this is an okay directional place to put it. And yes, the workers that are carrying things will just walk it straight in here. And once it's here, it is available to me to use, not necessarily to everyone else, but that's fine. That's a lot of people that are just waddling around here. So how are we doing so far? We're almost done with our initial setup. We still need a market. A market is just there so that people can actually purchase things. And I think I will I will probably extend expand out to this side. So there you go. There's the market and now people can actually start purchasing things like fish, cereals, logs, etc. Um, but we're running into a problem. Water supply looks fine. These numbers are actually 0 to 100, so they're just percentages. Sanitation looks okay. Fire safety we don't have any yet. I would think that is something we want to invest in. We do have the lumber and the lumber is coming in now, but don't be confused. That is coming in right now. That doesn't mean it's going to come in later too, because we're going to use those locks for a lot of different things, but that's fine. That's fine for right now. Uh, for the fishing, we could do something similar, but the walking path is not that far. So I'm just going to allow that to happen um, as it is right now. Cool. We have some fish. Very good. We have these people. They will just want some food at home and eventually they should get food and then they should upgrade, which is awesome. And once they upgrade, we actually need this fire station. We don't actually need it right now, but that's okay. So you can, well, actually, let's turn it off. We don't need five workers in the fire station because we only have two extra workers available right now. So yeah, we just need to make sure that there's everything that we need. Right now we have a lot of fish. That's nice, but we can do one better. How about some cereal fields? Because everyone likes cereal in the morning. Yes. 50% uh, efficiency, really? I thought this was supposed to be the the high yield. I don't want to walk this far. Um, why is it only 50% there? Uh, that is weird. Like I can get I can get 25 on here. I can get 48 on just grass, but yeah, this this is a little silly. I would like some higher efficiency, I guess. Ooh, children's cry in the forest. Lumberjacks were cal calmly harvesting logs as a child's cry was heard from the forest. Well, let's go check it, shall we? Ah, uh, Aka, okay. they decided to check what was the matter and went deeper into the forest. Oh, hello, lumberjacks shouted. Oh, 
The forest answered them with a childish voice. They strayed until very night, blah, blah, blah. We lost 19 logs. Good thing we have a lot of logs to give away. So that wasn't a huge deal, a huge blow. Um, you didn't see it, but there were some more people coming in because these houses actually upgraded. Sorry, I didn't show you that, but um, that just happened. They walked over here. Just go back like 20 seconds and you will see it. Let's get some cereals set up on this side. And yes, I am overbuilding this a little bit, but I just hate waiting for things. Once we have things available, I just want them to start working. I don't want to have to worry about doing things with them again later on. So this is what we're going to do. Put a little store right there. Get the store connected to something. There you go. Yep, they can just harvest it. Ooh, do I not need to connect them to anything bigger? That makes my life so much easier. That's, oh, I didn't know that. That's cool. So I can put all the productions really far away from our main settlement, but everyone will be happy enough. But we don't have cereal here, <laughs> which means we can't have cereal at the market, which, uh, well, that makes sense then. So I guess this one needs to be connected to, oh, oh, oh come on, let me, let me go don't know that there's a button to let me change the direction of these guys. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. I am not sure, but there you go. Fire station. Yes, that's that's organize some workers for the fire station. And now these houses are all full. We are relatively low on water. We're not super low, but we're relatively low. So I think it's a good place to add another well. The problem with the well is, well, we don't have enough workers. <laughs> we have uh, 38 workers needed and only 36 available. So the next thing that we definitely have to do is place more huts that will hopefully attract more workers. But as long as we have, um, as long as we have, yes, um, let's take that one out just for a second. I'm getting there. As long as we have, enough jobs and enough housing for all the workers, they should keep coming. There we go. We got 56 now to 38, so we have more workers. But this, residence health. We don't have enough barbers, which is not a good thing. So that's another thing we will just upgrade right now. Everyone can become a barber, which is wonderful. Um, there you go. Everyone's healthy again. <laughs> um, yeah, we, we just have to pay attention to that. And that is totally fine. These houses should start upgrading relatively soon i'm pretty certain about that but we'll just give that some time yeah cool what's next oh there's a lot of stuff next let's just scroll down the list here of what we can build next the hunter's hut this one will gather things in the forest and only in the forest this is exactly why i wanted to build um, a storage hut up here so we can actually use it for multiple things of storing so let's see, is there, is there someone gonna leave here? Someone, population, nice. We actually have better housing now. I, I haven't gotten to this stage where everything is green yet, but we're, we're getting there, we're getting there, and that's that's neat. I would like someone to do something. Weather change. Starbucks winds gusts, wind gusts, which subsided are abruptly as they arose, led to a change in the weather. Construction is temporarily prohibited. No! Okay, well, I guess we just consume stuff and we hope we don't run out of things. Luckily, our houses are already built and we have all the personnel that we need. So right now we should be okay. But until this thing is done, we can't really do anything. So let's speed through this just for right now. Sanitation is actually low. Um, that's not good, but we can't really do anything until we can build another cesspit. And well, we'll, we'll, just, we'll just deal with that once we get there. You can see that the sanitation guy actually just went through here. But we just need a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit extra. But, ooh, ooh, this is a problem. Once I can build something, I actually have to put a stop right here because that's not good. Rumors about a bear. Two men were returned from the forest and said they heard an inhuman roar. Sure, go check it out and let me know how it goes. Hopefully it goes well for everyone. Cool. That thing is over, which is great. Let's put a crossroad in here and then let's get our outpost there and people should no longer have to go through here. That's that's the important thing, especially these guys because there's nothing, no cesspool out here that anyone has to worry about. Um, speaking of cesspool, do we need another one? No, but we do need another water, um, water production. So let's see, there's a well. Uh, let's put the well close to the other residences, so hopefully they get more people. 
And um, I guess an interesting thing here is we can experiment with moving or with having services only in a certain area of town. So actually, I don't mind. I don't mind trying that right now because we have a water well here. We have two water wells there, technically. What we can do is this. We have we have all these things. The only problem is you, you don't even have worker requirements. That's great. So we put these guys up. And that's great. And now we just say that that's great. That's what I wanted to say. Woman carrying water cannot go through, but really everyone else can go through. And um, that should mean that the water people only deliver to these guys. At least that is that is my hope, which hopefully means we can use one one less of these um, water wells. And hopefully that is the case. And we'll just see how that goes. They they need. Um, crops and they need more help. I guess we can do the same thing. Let's take the barber hut from here and move it onto this side and tell these posts to not let barbers through. So the barbers are just um, on this side of town and everyone else can still go through. Awesome, that looks great. How is everything doing? It's just some houses don't have what they need and um, it looks like our water people are still walking way too far, but that's, I think we're figuring it out. There's our water lady. There's the other water lady. Yeah, they, they, they're doing their thing. Wonderful. I love it. Um, how are we doing? Everyone's upgraded. We have enough people we can build. So let's build the next thing, shall we? We even have some pelts sitting there. Our fish is actually going down. So, um, let's adjust that. Get another fisher hut right next to this one. Um, nothing complicated here, they just have to take it to the tent and then everyone should be very happy. An abandoned hut! One of the lumberjacks found an abandoned hermit hut in the, in the thicket, in which no one had appeared for a long time. Well, we'll take some logs, that's fine, we, still, we already have a lot, but uh, don't worry, there's a thing that we're gonna build in just a second that will make use of exactly that, which is a sawmill. But before we can build a sawmill, we apparently need a mason hut. So we're gonna do that. Um, yeah, here's fine. I would like two of you. Again, I don't like to wait. I am very impatient, but apparently I cannot put a footpath there. That's, that's unfortunate. So let's take that one out. Can I do something here? Can, no, I can't put a footpath there at all. Here's what we're going to do. Mason hut, rotate it this way. Give me one there and one here. We'll do the same thing, just organized a little different. And that should be good. And they will take all their stone down to here. And then we can use it, which is exactly what I want to do. So I'm sure there are numbers here of how much you need for how much and how many and how, how, how. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I'm not I'm not quite I'm not quite that sophisticated at this point in time. And um, honestly, I don't like playing the min-max game too much. I like playing the game, so we'll see how this goes. Let's add three more huts because we are running low on our workers. We actually are about to hit our first quest goal. There we go. You're doing great. Let's make a settlement even bigger and better. Yeah, I'm trying. Uh, build a settlement. Just make it bigger. That's fine. Um, but not quite yet. So we have 87 population. That's great. Our sanitation is looking like it's having some issues. How are we doing here? Apparently the Fisher Hut has some sanitation needs. That's that's interesting, I didn't know that. Disease is okay, fertility, yeah, all that other stuff is is quite okay. But yeah, cesspool is slowly but surely having problems. Desirability, there's a cesspool, people don't like it right there. Here's what we're gonna do. We're actually gonna move that cesspool to the other side of, of, of the road and that should make everyone over there quite happy. And we're just gonna take that one down and Maybe put a production here or two. That should be okay. But yeah, everything is covered now. And people are happy enough, which is exactly what we want. Cool, we have some stones. They are happening. That's great. What is this lady doing? Where are you going? Are you just running away? Are you hunting? I don't I don't know what you're doing. There's another one. <laughs> I think they're hunters. Um, but that's that's fine. That's neither here nor there. What we wanted to do next was obviously build a sawmill because this is about resources. We want to move resources back and forth and all the way around and et cetera, et cetera. And we just need stuff for that. And this one is going to start eating into our logs really, really fast. How much are you producing? You're producing 
Five planks for 10 logs every... I need times. I need it to tell me how long it takes to make something because these guys don't even tell me how many logs they produce. I just have to guess. I don't like that. I think it's easy enough to, to just, well, get a number in there, <laughs> but that, that's okay. That's okay. I'll, I'll survive. Uh, it's not, that's not a bad thing. We do have this building that wants to be upgraded eventually. We need some planks and some clay. Okay, let's get into clay. Yeah, there, it's just, at this point, it's, it's a little bit of, we have to just get all our materials done and build all the things that we can build and eventually require water. There's water here. What is your problem? Not enough water? <laughs> okay, whatever. Yeah, clay hut right here, unless I can put it there, which I can't, unless I can put it here, which I don't think I can't. No, you can stay right here. Okay, that's fine. Got some workers, got some clay going, and we got the hut right next to it. Now it looks like the hut may be better off here, but that's neither here nor there. So we're just gonna leave that alone. Water supply and health and fire safety and sanitation looks just fine. That's good. So I think we can move along with the next thing even before this leader tent gets upgraded. Pigsty, hey, I haven't actually built this before, so that will be exciting. Looks like it doesn't have any fertility needs. I would be surprised if it doesn't have some repercussions of building it too close to town, because do you want to live next to the pigsty? I didn't think so. So we're going to put one here and one here again, just because I don't like to wait and let them figure it out. You, uh, you have a fire threat. Are you out, out of range of this guy? I, I don't think so. I don't think there's a, ooh, but you, firefighter. Yes, firefighters can't go through there. Interesting. Um, okay, okay, I, I get it. Uh, I will fix that. Get me a service, get me a fire station, and get me a little fire guy right there, and then they can figure it out. That's fine. We can figure it out that way. Ooh, can be improved. Nice. Let's upgrade the building. I haven't done this before, so this is exciting. Click. I didn't even see what happened. <laughs> it looks like a big storage house. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, I still like it. I don't know why this feedback up here or the, the, the tooltip is still there, but hey, that's okay. It looks like we are running out of water. Just a slight a smidge over here, but that's, that's okay for now, I suppose. And I think I will probably add another uh, settlement here on this line um, once we need more. more well, we, we need more people. Um, actually, I'm surprised to see that already. But here's what we're going to do. I'm going to build four houses that way. And then four houses this way. We don't need all of them right away. And as you can see, they all have water problems. Um, just from the start, which is wonderful. But I'm hoping that I can put this near the area. I don't think I can build here, so this is fine. Near the area and just have one water person be responsible for all of them being happy all the time. Get me my logistics thing that says water person, you stay exactly where you are there. So everyone can go through there besides the water person. Perfect. And now everyone should get exactly what they need. We're just not full of people yet. What is your problem? You need ooh, a marvel of engineering. We got some well, logs and some stone. Nice. <laughs> don't complain about that if you don't mind. Uh, we do have the market right here, so I'm expecting that that one is totally fine. We have a lot of cereals, which is great. We have this guy, which has a pigsty, which is causing trouble. So let's get a cesspit in here. Apparently that is a thing that a pigsty needs. I thought a pigsty is a cesspool. That's fine. That's fine. We'll figure it out. Just extend that and then they can do their thing. Disease threat. Yes. Interesting. Um, I guess we need a barber out here as well. That is something I did not expect, but okay. This is how you solve that problem. <laughs> you just throw one in there. Um, how are we doing? There's a barber over here for all those buildings. So I think another barber here is a prudent choice. I would really like to not build into... Oh, there, there's iron over here. I can't forget about that. There's only one slot on that side, so we're just gonna use this and that should be okay. There's fire, fire. Why is there fire? Is there is there someone doing something about the fire here? Can fire people go through this? No. 
Um, okay, that's bad. Can five people go through this? Yes, they can. Looks like they figured it out. <laughs> cool. Is there anything else? Tax collector? All those people? No, that should be fine. All right. What is your problem? Contamination threat. You are out of range of something or what? Oh yeah, the cesspit, the cesspit crew cannot get through here. Uh, Night saw a collector. That's the guy that we want. I don't need you to go through there though. Very good. So as you can see, you start getting into funny little situations really fast in the beginning, just because that's how it works sometimes. There's a cesspool collector and things should be okay. Cool. Pick it up from there. Very good. Very good. Uh, no condition for migration. You don't want to move in because your desirability is low. Why is your desirability low? Because you're part of the cesspool, cesspit crew. Okay, we're not going to build anything on this side. That's what that means. The well will also go on the other side. Right here is fine. And then give me a couple housing options. I don't know, my mouse just slipped there. Don't judge me. <laughs> uh, there you go. And one... Hello! Uh, at least there's an abundant resources, but a good manager will be able to attract even more people here. Yeah. Apparently we're building bigger and better everything, which is great. Build a village. 250 is my next goal. Ouchies. Sounds good though. I'm up for a challenge. I don't know what I'm going to do with the stuff over here. Maybe I can build something that's useful. But it appears that only cesspools are lowering desirability, and I guess maybe the pigsty? Is that true? Let's see. Desirability. Yep, the pigsty and list of industries in general are lowering that, but hey, we can always move these further and further along if they're causing problems, because I would imagine that this is going to be the core of our city. But I do like the setup where we have one of these services per street, effectively. That, that seems to work pretty well, honestly. Um, how are we doing? We're doing some planks, we're doing some stones, we're not doing a lot of fish. Okay. Let's fix that. Are you producing? Yes, you are producing. Um, but you're walking really far, so I think... I'm, I'm trying... <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I think this is what I want to do. Put another hut there. Connect hut. And then give hut a um, storehouse. Try to put it a little out of the way because yes, we will use this for more residents, but this should be fine. And since we're on this side, let's connect that to the road network so they can get whatever they need to get. That should be okay. Cool. That seems to work. What well, what's next in the list? We have all these things already built. It's and and this is this is this is interesting. Sometimes it's good to have a very structured approach and sometimes it's not that great, um, but I kind of like it. Let's put this one on the road here. It can just be across from all the cereals that we have. And yeah, if someone could tell me how many cereals were produced nowadays and how many were consuming, um, I would be in a much better place, but we're not quite there yet, but we're really close to our first fair. That'll be exciting. Um, yeah, the successful guy, cool. Uh, bakery. Weaving workshop. This one requires um, the the hides that we're producing here and a couple other things. I kind of like it. Do I want to put you... I'm assuming this reduces desirability. I'm not 100% sure about that, so we're going to check on this. Nope. Has no impact on desirability at all. So yeah, it's just the, the, pig, the pig farms, really. And the cesspools are the ones that we have to keep apart, which makes good enough sense, wouldn't you say? I, I think that that kind of checks out. At least we're doing okay on workers right now, which is very good. They, they, those people want more food at home. We have some meat here. Oh, from the, from the, uh, from the pigsties. Perfect. That's very nice. <laughs> that's, that's very nice. I like it. Let's see. Can we try? That's cereal that are there. This is cereals that are here. Okay, so they're already being moved around. I wonder if there's some carts, some carting up. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, firefighters, you can get through. No, actually, we're just gonna add another fi a firefighter. This is interesting because it looks like there are some, some buildings that are clearly, oh, come on. Let me, let me put you somewhere where you're useful. 
there are some buildings that are clearly problematic for um for fire and for things like this and some buildings that just don't care which is well that that one burnt down <laughs> really fast it would be nice to know that beforehand but honestly the game tells me it says produces consumes threats what threats does this one need to cover and i'm just not paying enough attention to that at this point but eventually we will just figure that out so this one would also like to have a cesspit nearby so we're gonna do that cesspit very good put you here by the stones they won't mind and then we're in pretty good shape i think we're at 150 population already and now we're starting to get into a situation where Things just go down, just just a little bit. Just in general, <laughs> population goes down is really what I meant. The Wrath of Mara. Water consumption rate higher, disease rate higher, building contamination rate higher, fisherman's efficiency not good. Okay, we may be still okay. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But since we have our water guys not covering that much area, maybe we are. We will be safe. I would like a way to deliver more stuff to the market, but I haven't seen that yet. So, well, eventually we'll figure it out. Two weeks? That is 14 days, sir. That's that's a little that's a little extreme, don't you think? I think so. Oh well, we'll just keep on moving. We have a sawmill, we have a mason cells, we have a store, we have a big pigsty. This is the next one. Desirability is increased for everyone that is nearby. So we're just gonna put that right here and everyone is happy and upgraded their house to good house for wealthy villagers. You now need booze and ham. Okay, well, I'm sure we can build those. <laughs> uh, apiary, apiary gives honey for mead. That that sounds lovely. Where, where do I place you? Do I place you? Oh, okay, I have to place you on here. That's not a problem at all. We'll just put you right next to the storage house and um, life is pretty good. Don't mind that at all. Um, and obviously meat is just the first start of secret of sacred stones. Ooh, iron mine. Ooh, butcher. You produce ham. What do you need? You need... What are those? They're like things that they make out of clay. I just don't know. Well, let's go on materials. Uh, Mason's house, you produce stone. We have that, we have this one, we have this one, and we have this one. I don't know how we're supposed to make that material, but I'm, I'm sure it's it's somewhere. Produces this, roof tile factory. Okay, we need some iron for that. Got it, got it, we, we can get there. Um, iron mine, we need more logs for that. Did I tell you in the beginning that log production is not going to be our friend? Yes, there you go. We are now at the point where I just have to add another lumberjack mill or two um, to even stay on top of the things that we're producing because the Sama is one place it produces. What is your problem? I don't know what its problem is. Uh, the Sama is just one place where we need um, logs, all the citizens when they upgrade they need logs and a bunch of other places need logs as well So logs are just a thing Really again, we just had that three weeks. Oh, that's perfect. That's I mean we survived the first round I'm sure we're gonna survive this round, but just a little silly. I think Let's put this one if I can put you here. I Don't mind that if I can put you here though. I would mind that even less you need to be completely engulfed in in the iron side, but that is fine. Then give me a piece of road that we can connect right here, which is perfect, and now everyone should be very, very happy. Did that affect desirability at all? Nope. Everyone's happy and everything's desirable. We're just going to move these cesspits eventually to somewhere else. I just haven't made up my mind yet. Fire! 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 <laughs> Do we have a someone? The wrap of valves. It's just going bad. <laughs> Building contamination rate. Ammo production. Ah, oh, I don't. I am not a fan of that. Why? Why are these burning down? I'm pretty sure we have a fire station nearby, but obviously that's not enough. So, fire station. Give me a new one. Put you here. Then these guys, firefighters, are no longer allowed to go through here. There you go. 
then we're just gonna rebuild because that is what we're all about give me some more logs please what's your problem hey hey gimme 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 there we go built that house again cool um this is just disease so that should be just the barber being able to walk through there but yeah this this is unfortunate that it just burned down but it's okay I would like these two to not stick around that long, but oh well. We have 218 population, so we really don't have to build any more housing for the time being. So let's concentrate on the things that we actually need, which I think the next one was workshop and resources, roof tile factory. Yeah, that's the one. I'm sure we're going to make a really big production line out here. I don't have a problem with that. One bit. Not one bit. What, what was the next thing that we wanted to build? Mini fair? No, bakery. Weavery workshop. Uh, we have one of those. They are producing stuff. We have an apiary. Two of them. Rooftop factory. We just built that. Meadery is for booze. Um, and then we have some of that. We have a smithy. Ma Mara's idol. This sounds like something that should help with Mara. Put that, that right there. Oh, look. It made the roads. <laughs> rock <laughs> stone whatever it is what's this contamination the wrath of mar i just put up a thing for you why do you hate me um what do we have here hold a fertilizer festival in honor of Z Z ziva ziva um conduct ritual bathing and cleansing of dwellings yes please you should conduct yes do it <laughs> ritual bathing cleansing water consumption rate a lot all right We'll see how that goes. <laughs> um, not enough resources. What resources do you need? Oh, you need more hides, more animal hides, and you're not producing enough right there. So how about we put one more of those out here? None of these materials. Hunters, hunters hut. Yes. Um, rotate you, and then you can go in the forest right here, and hopefully that produces a few more hides than what we have right now. That would be neat. Very neat. Um, moving along. Logs. We're, we're, we're not producing enough logs, just period. So, another one. Sure. I am not a fan of waiting, period. Don't make me wait. I don't want to wait. We can probably put another one here. Again, really? We just had you. You're just continuously being annoying, aren't you? Um, water supply. Well, <sighs> no. No, looks like looks like it's fine. Looks like it's all good. Contamination threat. Yes, the cesspit guy should be able to get through here. There he is. Um, just figure it out. That'd be nice. But that all looks good. Now, what is next? Fire station, Taurus, Sorhas, Mini Fair, got it. Weaving, Apiary, clay, uh, clay Pit. I guess just any of these. We need some Thor's Hammers for this guy. Where do we get Thor's Hammers? I'm assuming in the smithy which we can build now. Cool. Yep, more resources right here. There you go. Plop it down. Make me happy. Mara's idol. Svarik's idol. Place of workshop. Why? Like, they're just all angry at me. I don't understand it. Uh, I haven't built one of these. I haven't built one of these. <laughs> We're just building all of them because this is getting ridiculous. I would like you to be nice to me. And not uh, just do things that are that are bad for me. That'd be that'd be really cool. But I guess it's not totally up to me. Now, what are we low on? We are low on some logs, but we're also low on fish. Low on fish is not a thing that I want to be low on. Sorry. Uh, Fisherman's hut. Can we build another one there? No, of course not. Why? Why would we be able to? Can't really add one out here either. So I guess put one there and put one there get a quick road connection to here and then they can deliver it wherever they want to deliver it to don't really care and um, they can figure out again more i mean it feels like this is end game now we, we've been playing for 40 minutes i've been playing for 40 minutes and things are just going into well this is bad for you 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 how about something else bad for you i don't know about that it, it feels a little funky but that's okay so we have that smithy. We don't have the meadery. The meadery needs more hides. We're not producing enough hides. Do we have an edict for more hides? Um, apparently there are coins. 
uh, buy and distribute food to the poor, purchase clothes for elite, buy meat from neighboring settlement, buy oriental tableware, announce alarm and assembly, higher edition. What what is this? More more things. Okay, interesting. Stop it! Stop stop sending that. All I want is efficiency of butchery, slaughter efficiency, food consumption. Uh, I want the hunters to be better. Hunter efficiency. This one. Yes. Give me that. Apply. Where is my... There you go. Where is my currency? Oh, up there. What is this? It's actually gold. How do I make gold? <laughs> I don't understand. Who's bringing me gold? Who's doing this stuff? And it's increasing. That's that's just silly. What are these guys? Sorg is annoyed. Zeus is pleased. <laughs> How do I make you happier? <laughs> Ah, uh, perfect. It's just great. That's that's super helpful. I think it's funny. Um, I'm sure there's an effect, but honestly, the way we're set up right now, it looks like the effects are negligible, and we are doing just fine. It's just continually happening, which is quite annoying. But whatever. Um, I want to build the last few buildings. Just the last few. What what is that? The metery. The metery. You also need more clay. Can you make more clay? We have no clay. How do we not have any clay? Because pottery is probably eating up all of the clay that we want. Okay. Um, give me another clay pit. Yep. There you go. Make more clay. Hurry up. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We have some hides. We have a lot of meat. We have a lot of cereals. That is great. We have some iron. I mean, that's a good thing. Um, we have some clothing. Cool. We have a lot of honey. Let's make some meat out of that honey. That's, that's what I really want to do. Logistics? No. Yes. Weaving workshop? No. Um, stop it! <laughs> stop, stop being mean to me. I would like... Where's my where's my booze? There's a Salmon Secret of Secret Stones. Yes, that one. Sure. Well, we're going to build that right now because I don't know what it does. What do you do? Sacred Stones. Production. Stones and meat. We don't have meat yet. Why did you let me build that if I don't have meat as a product? Ah. <sighs> Okay, okay, okay. Pigsty Mini Fair Bakery? No. Weaving Workshop Apiary Clay Pit. I know that I already knew what it was, but we weren't there yet. So we need more clay. Clay, go. We're on the highest speed here. It's nice and busy, busy, which is nice. And I will tell you, this is maxing out my RTX 3070. This game. I don't have a lot of city builders that do that. I don't have any city builders that do that in the first 40 minutes. So um, that is something interesting, which is also why you don't see a face cam right now. But hey, we'll get over it. It's not it's not the end of the world, right? That's that's right. What are we? Why is this not doing the thing that I need to do? What is this? Tiles. Can the tilery just stop doing things? What are you? Rooftop factory. Stop. Stop making tiles for just a minute, so I can make booze. Ah. Uh. Build a village. We have 250 bucks again, so let's put another issue out there. Um, is this one the one I want? Yeah, sure. Cool. <laughs> we'll do the same thing again. It'll be great. I I still, I still, I just want my metery. There we go. Yes. Um, sure, right there is good. Give me a piece of road, connect that here, and then we have some meat now, so this guy can actually do things. That's neat. Um, rooftop factory. I don't think I want to turn you back on, honestly. I, I will tell you that right now, because there are more things that we still have to build before we're done. Uh, crockery. We have the metery, we have a smithy, we have rooftop, we have butcher. I do think we have everything else. Let's go click through here. Definitely have those. Food stuff. Bakery, yes. Butcher and metery. Okay, done with that. Yes, we built all of those. Yes, we built all of the... No, crockery. This one's the one that we're missing, and we just need some metal for that. How is there not more metal being produced? Two per thing. What do we make out of metal? Um, this? Smithy? Yeah, the smithy. Stop it. <laughs> I want my iron. We could build another iron mine, but... Hey, where's the fun in that? Oh, we're almost at the population that they want me to go to. How about we make that happen at the same time? Crockery, workshop, some more iron. Okay, yeah, we're getting there. Um, place for villagers. Let's pop some in here. There's two there, one here. 
Should get us pretty close to the to the 250. I mean, each each house. There we go. Red settlement attracts attention. People are attracted to us, even from distant lands. Ooh. Build a town. 400. So it's just a thing that it can make bigger and bigger now, which honestly, I kind of like the style of this. I kind of really like the style of this. I don't like that there's exclamation points everywhere here. We have water problems left and right. <laughs> they could have told me that a while ago. Let's see. Put a water well there. Put a water well there. Put another water well here. Get a road connection there. And you, I don't think, have water problems, but we we'll put one there anyway, so that should be fine. You are a contamination threat. Contamination is cesspool problems. Cesspool problems will be solved by more cesspool cesspits. Give me two more. We have more than enough workers for this, so this should be fine. Um, let's do... Mm, that one can go there. That one can go here. We need to move that... That thing, the Drozhnik. There you go. You go away, you go away, and then everything is perfect. Yes, that should work. We have more than enough people now. These guys have cesspit problems because why not? Night soil person can't get in from that side. That's not good. Can you get in from this side? Yes, you can. Um, honestly, that's probably fine. You're not allowed from there anymore. <laughs> Go away. We have 17 iron, so we can build the last building that we haven't built yet. Pick style, mini, weaving, apiary, clay pit, iron mine, seeker, butcher, rooftops, crockery. Give me the crockery. I give you the crockery. Oh, it's a pretty building. And that completes all the buildings that you could build. Okay, that was 47 minutes. I, I, am, I am surprised. I am surprised. This game, and we're getting into the review part now. This game is, I obviously played it way too fast. You can totally enjoy this and optimize it and make sure that nothing gets clogged up. But as you can see, just with designating some roads to some water and some barbers, um, there are not a lot of problems that you have to solve, even when the, the gods are mad at you. So, Oh, yeah, here we are. So you got probably, I mean, it's pretty, it's neat. Um, and it gives me a couple of things, a couple of thoughts. But no, I, I think the game itself is nice. It's pretty. It plays a little faster. I need a little bit more of a gradual thing, which can be unlocking things like researching stuff or... I don't know, build this before you can build that. Build this many of this. Like these quests are really just there if you want to play endless mode, which is fine, and you can probably play. I mean, there's still a lot of area out here, but then again, you can only build in the area that is buildable right now, because even when you, when you chop down the trees, they come back. Like, the forest is there. You cannot change the, where the forest runs. So, yeah, I don't know. I think... I think it's a cute game. I think it's a really cute idea. And I think they're doing a couple things really, really well. Um, but I need a little more. I need a little more out of this game. Thanks for the developers for sending me a key. Um, I, was, I was happy to try it out. I hope you guys like it. This came out April 5th, so it's about two weeks old when you, when you watch this. Um, but now you know exactly what this game is about. You can take it as far or as short. As not far as you want, because yeah, th these guys are gonna come back. You can probably figure out how these gods start liking you, what you need to do. I don't, I don't know what it is, um, because I can't click on something and they will tell me what they want. But hey, that's fine. They don't have to tell me everything. That's kind of how it works, right? Cool. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you liked this. This was Gringrad, and um, I'm Be Well, Joe. If you like this kind of stuff, maybe subscribe. I do a lot of city builders, usually with more trains, but today no trains were required, so that's fine. Thing, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Oh, oh, this is how I make people happy. Got it. You give them booze and iron. <laughs> Logs and skins. Ooh. And um, what's the last one here? There's one over there. You want fish and meat. Mmm. Yeah, but she's just she's just not getting happier. What what do you stop it? <laughs> what do you get when I put this one here? Oh, it, it jumped up a little bit. That's so nice of you. Just has to move faster. But, I mean, 
it's not that hard to make any of these resources uh, so i'm gonna say like look where i'm sitting and that's just fine meat is one of the only ones that we're currently having trouble with but just add more we have more than enough people to just increase the production for pretty much everything we have so that's cool no thanks again um i'll see you again next time Bye bye